Synology has developed a robust solution to help set up a home or business security surveillance system. While it can be easy to get overwhelmed at what all is available within Synology's surveillance station, it's pretty straightforward to get up and running for a home setup that can easily be expanded upon. Let's check it out. Thanks for watching 9to5toys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Hi, this is Jordan with 9to5toys. While offering lots of options for NAS and expanded storage, Synology's surveillance station is aimed to work for everyone from the homeowner to large business applications. If you're not too familiar with Synology's disk station manager, like me, the options can be a little overwhelming, but Synology does a good job of walking you through the basics and getting a simple surveillance system set up was pretty easy. Synology has a lot of storage options, but at the heart of my system is the DS918 Plus. With its four drive bays, the 918 Plus can be set up for a multi-purpose system. I have four 6TB Seagate Ironwolf drives to allow up to 24TB of storage. But if you want to take advantage of RAID setups or Synology's own SHR for file recovery and redundancy, you'll likely see less storage than that. Setting up the NAS itself was very simple. The DS918 features two 1 gigabit Ethernet LAN ports, two USB 3 ports, and eSATA. Once plugged into your network and powered on, simply open a browser and navigate to find.synology.com and you will be guided through a quick and easy setup. Knowing that I wanted a dedicated volume for surveillance footage and a much larger one for my normal backup, I created two volumes. I wasn't totally sure how much to dedicate to surveillance files, so I did 4.5 terabytes. I don't think I'll need to keep a ton of footage on my drive, so I gave most of the storage to my normal file backup. Once the volumes are set up, it's very simple to install the Surveillance Station application. Synology has quite a few applications built into its web-based Disk Station Manager software. Personally, I am only looking for setting up a NAS backup and a surveillance system at the moment. Surveillance Station supports a wide range of hardware. You can search Synology's website to see compatibilities. For now, I'm just installing these two Amcrest IP cameras. To connect them with Surveillance Station, you need to know the IP address of the camera. Once you know the IP address, setup is a breeze. Synology also has a mobile app for both Android and iOS to view on your phone or tablet called DS Cam. If your account is set up in Surveillance Station, you just use the same login and can easily access a live feed and all of your recordings. Surveillance Station can do a lot more than I've had time to check out so far. By connecting other third-party devices and systems to it, you can build out a robust system to your needs. One example Synology gives is being able to link transaction data at a business to sync with your timeline. This way, if you have a suspicious transaction, you can go back to that exact time and reference your video feed along with the transaction data. With the camera added, it's extremely easy to view your live feed and previous recordings. In the Timeline tab, navigating through the day is simple, and events that have alerts attached to them are noted with a blue line. This makes it extremely easy to find moments throughout the day where motion or audio has been detected. There isn't any additional cost to set up Surveillance Station. Synology has included it in their web-based Disk Station Manager. You can add up to two cameras for free, but if you want to add additional devices, you will have to purchase additional licenses. This is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Surveillance Station, and I'm looking forward to knowing more about its capabilities. Have you used Surveillance Station? How are you using it for your home or business? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and hitting that bell icon. This is Jordan with 9to5toys.